Hey everybody, and this is the Pinchy Owls Garage Quickie. Mmm, yeah. So on today's uh, Quickie video, we're going to show you how to inspect the Mark IV 1.8T uh, for any possible issues or um, if you're deciding to buy one, a used one things you're gonna have to look for and listen for okay uh, number one just visually when you're looking at the mark 4 engine bay uh, just pay attention to any of these lines here here and here now if you care for smog in your car these are very very important you gotta make sure these are all here and feel feel for them Make sure they're nice and soft and not very hard or brittle. Uh, one very uh, important thing on Mark IVs, these uh, coolant hoses here down below where my hand is. Um, these right here, this one is notorious for cracking right here. Uh, down over here by the, um, I guess the air box and the coolant sensor. Um, if you have opportunity to get this out of the way, the air box. Uh, if it, you can see this, I don't know if you guys can, but I'm going to put my hand down here. Um, see where my finger is right here? Looks like it's had a coolant leak for, for a while, and that's why this is all white. Um, that's a good sign that this, um, coolant flange right here where my finger is, let's see if you guys can see, there we go, right here. That's a good sign that this is bad and it's time to replace it, Okay. Another good sign here is the hoses right here for the heater core um, sit right here by the next of the turbo. So these get really hot. So you want to squeeze them, not too hard, and make sure they're not brittle or anything like that. Because um, those are, if you're driving and if you get hot enough, the car will literally just pop that off, and that's the end of that. You can have a coolant hose that's bad. Um, right here on top. Um, on top of the uh, discharge pipe right here uh, these hoses right here have to be very really, really well inspected make sure they're not torn in any way put your hand underneath here because they're notorious for blowing right here where my fingers is underneath um, because the turbo manifold sits right below it so this gets really 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 hot eventually these will get brittle and crack and then uh, pop open right here at the bottom and you won't know unless you're looking for it Another good thing to look for is on the brake booster hoses, same thing down below. Look for any cracks or anything like that. These very rarely fail, but they do fail. So just pay attention to that. Uh, down here in front where the um, main sensors uh, here are for the, for the combi valve and the uh, wastegate. <coughs> These are also super notorious for cracking. These are plastic lines right here, and they break all the time. So just inspect and uh, put your hand down underneath. Uh, good, good word of advice. Um, turn the car on and listen for it. And we're going to show you what to listen for, okay? Um, see, like right here on the power steering, it's shiny. Not supposed to be shiny. This is actually like a dull black plastic. So there's a leak somewhere around here. So we got to look for that and see why it's leaking. Um, so that's something you need to pay attention to. If you see right here on the valve cover... It's really shiny on this corner. That means they probably did an improper valve cover install. It might actually have a uh, oil leak there. Uh, over here it was done nicely, so there's no oil coming out of here. Um, <coughs> let me see here. Oh, right here the struts. This is not good. See this right here? My my finger in here. Uh, that means the bushings are pretty much shot. Um, they're way too past uh, the good zone, pretty much. Uh, when you buy new strut bushings, you shouldn't be able to put your um, fingernail underneath here. They sit on here super, super tight. Um, that's a good sign right here that this is time to replace these bushings. They're not very expensive. Look over here against the back. Uh, make sure that the... Um, Brake reservoir doesn't have any leaks, so look for anything shiny, um, shiny or um, just really clean is what you want to look for. 
Uh, this battery's got a little bit of battery acid leaking. You can see here, you see the corrosion building up. Right here, that's kind of normal when you have a fluid batteries. Um, if you don't have a sealed battery, if you had a sealed battery, this will never happen. So the next uh, step is turning on the car, so let's go do that. Now with the car on, what you want to listen for is like a hiss, like a um, That noise is that it's saying that there's a vacuum leak somewhere. I don't hear one. Um, with the car cold or kind of warm, put your hand down here, wiggle the lines around, don't push hard on them. Um, just wiggle them. Um, the reason why is because if you wiggle them, sometimes you'll crack open the, the vacuum leak and then you'll know if you have a vacuum leak there or not. Just wiggle them like this while the car is on. Uh, if you don't hear any weird hiss noises, you're good. Now, if you hear this tick, that's injector tick. You're good. That's normal. Not a great, not a bad noise. If you hear like a metal tick, like a ta 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 ta, much louder than this tick, <coughs> you got. Could be a couple things. Could be the uh, cam chain uh, slapping around in there. Uh, so if it is, you'll hear it. You'll hear the noise coming from over here, or you'll hear the noise coming from the inside of here. If you hear from coming inside here, you might actually have some valves going bad on there, or the pistons hitting the valves. It could be a couple things. Uh, we call that valve tick. But right now, I mean, if you listen to this, this is a typical Mark IV uh, 1.8T noise. So this is good. This is a really good noise. What you're also trying to listen for is for an idle. Any fluctuation in idle, where you listen to it and then it drops or goes up. <clears throat> if it drops, that means you have a vacuum leak. If it goes up, you might have something else wrong with fueling. So things like that you got to really, really pay attention to. That sounds really, really good. You know, personally, for a really old Mark IV, um, one thing you want to pay attention to: if the suspension is any good, the shocks just bounce this sucker, and you'll see how like the whole car wiggles. And you see that it took about almost three bounces to settle. That means the shocks on these things, this car, the shocks on this car are shot. So it's time to pretty much replace that as well, which we're going to do. Let me turn off the um, car again here. So the next thing we're going to inspect are brakes. Brakes are pretty easy to inspect. If you see down here, where my finger is at again, there's a little bit of meat on there, on those pads. Now, here you go. And what I mean by a little bit of meat, if you see the metal backing of the pad here, and then there's like a little bit of a quarter inch of a pad right there. That means we're okay. But my concern here are the rotors. You see here, if you put your finger across it, or like that, the rotors have like a texture feel to it, and not like a flat feel to it. That means they didn't they ride these rotors pretty rough, and they haven't been changed for a while. On the back, I'm actually due for some brake pads. I'm almost out of brake pad here in the back. And you can see my finger. I mean, that thing's almost to the metal. So we're going to have to swap out and get some new pads on this. Um, I'm going to end up doing pads and rotors on this whole entire car, so you'll be able to see that. Um, the handbrake works really well on this still. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, if you want to inspect again, like I said, inspect, bounce the car. And you'll see how like this, I can actually push this thing pretty far down. And it, the backs settle pretty quickly. To me, that's a good sign that the shocks are okay. But, all in all, from what i just seen, I'm going to have to replace the coolant flange. I'm going to have to replace the coolant ball. Probably some of the coolant hoses. Definitely front and rear pads and rotors. Um... I need to do a full coolant flush on this car because they used the improper coolant. I'm going to need a new coolant temp sensor. Um, uh, probably a new air filter for the time being. 
I'm going to have to find out if I can replace the uh, power steering reservoir because it's leaking somewhere. So we're going to have to clean this up and see where it's leaking from eventually. But all in all, uh, valve cover gasket's going to have to end up being done. All in all, the car is really well. But that's a pinchy out quickie on how to inspect a Mark IV pretty quickly. Um, if you're looking for a purchase to buy a used one, don't forget these are these cars have very high mileage. Uh, nowadays, you're not going to find them with very low mileage. So when you buy one, anticipate uh, having a car with a few issues here and there until you actually get all the kinks out. So put aside a good three to five hundred dollars just to do the main, uh, the big maintenance on the car. That way, when you're done with it, the car will run freaking nice and great for a couple years. Uh, to come. So thanks for watching and this is a Pinchia Quickie.